All right, ladies and gentlemen, especially my Mumbai fans. What's up? Nick here. You know what? I'm still going to give you guys a whole bunch of love, a whole bunch of energy, because first and foremost, Nick, great job. Uh, good on you, kid. You stayed afterwards after the game and collected, I don't know, five, six, seven super chats, eight super chats. For you know, India. For India, donating it all. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the support. But also because you're no longer blitz, my friend. You caught one of the greatest finishes. Bro, These are this is actual commentary. The, the, uh, commentary from um, uh, Rohit Sharma. He says, this is probably one of the best T20 games I've ever been a part of. This is a guy that's won five championships. It's that crazy. This thing, he's, been, I thought, he's been a part of a game or two. Yeah, Bro, I thought there was no chance. I thought there was no chance. But Mumbai showed why they're five-time champs, pulled this victory out of the jaws of defeat. And I think this is for you, Nick. I, I They mentioned in the chat, they said, Nick, this is your first time a part of the chase, right? I've seen these live chases. I've seen the, the RCB. Oh, my gosh, bro, RCB, the way they just mad through the cat. I, I, ABD, I should sue him because he cost me a year of my life, bro. I still got that ruptured eye be, uh, uh, vessel in my eye. I was so angry that day, bro. It was brutal. But this is like the excitement, bro. Of the, I, I can't even be mad at this match, bro. I'm following it. Like, no, two wicket over. I mean, two run, wicket over for, for Sam Curran. Sam Curran single-handedly wins the game. I'm going nuts on the field two while Trey's out there. Wicked. And then all of a sudden, oh. no. I got Pollard! Oh, my gosh. Nick, your <laughs> yeah, thoughts how's on it this feel? Game? How's oh. it feel? I was thinking about this before we got on here today. I was thinking, I think me and Gabe experienced the same level of stress because it was down to the last ball. And even to that last ball, when he when Pollard hit, I'm like, okay, super over. They're not getting two. They're going for two. They're going for two. I mean, so exciting. I was, I literally, the last over, 16 off six, I said to RJ, who was in the stream, thank you, RJ, for joining me. I said, I still don't see CSK losing this match. I still don't see it. And good on him. Back in, I think, the 17th or the 18th over, he's like, this is Mumbai's match to lose. Like, yeah. how is that possible? They're like 30-plus with like 12 or 13 balls left. But he's seen himself a match or two. So that's the experience right there. This was an exciting match. I don't think I can survive too many more matches like this. <laughs> I have definitely seen chases before, not of this magnitude, and not with my team. So I'm going to go right into what I liked. And let me first do a side thing. What I liked, like Gabe said, I liked the way that CFA Nation answered the call. Like they've done time and time again. Thanks for the super chats. Every penny goes to India. We promise. But what I like in this match, before I mean, you is there any, any other? Like, we forgot what this is, brother. This is another installment of our three wickets, and we're gonna call it the 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 Titan. This is just the thriller in Manila. CSK versus Mumbai Indians. Congratulations, Mumbai Indians, Nick. The floor is yours, my man. I'm trying to think of a cool word that rhymes with Delhi, the something in Delhi. But you see how easy three turns to five? That's right. You know what I liked so much <laughs> was a guy who has even more than five, and that's Pollard. This guy's got championships in the CPL. He's undefeated, making me cry forever. I joined with him in Mumbai. He's got a million championships with them. He's got T20 championships for West Indies. This guy walks around winning championships. And he was the only one that could have taken us out of the fire because there was a point where there was, I think, six overs left, and they needed like 90 runs. 90 runs on 36 balls. It's not going to happen. But Pollard, 87 off 34, a strike rate of 255. There was a report today. KL Raul, Raul had no idea a strike rate could get that high. Oh, that was a drive-by right there. <laughs> He pulled out his calculator. He said, wait, that map can't be right. That's impossible. That's impossible. <laughs> 87 for, for 34. 255 strike rate, almost a 256. Eight sixes. Eight sixes for crying out loud. This guy, we've seen it before. You've seen it before. I've seen it before. I was a part of that amazing chase by your uh, TKR against my BT in the CPL. This guy just loves the pressure. He's been struggling a little bit the last few matches with all the three Ps. But, man, did he show up on the bowling side. He got himself, like Gabe said, two wickets, cousin. Hold that, cousin. He got himself two wickets, 12 runs on two balls. This was his match. And the thing I loved is after his first wicket, he's he's from the West Indies, right? 
when he's with his West Indies squad, I see him celebrate a whole lot more than I see him celebrate with the Mumbai squad. I'm not sure if it's like that Rohit Sharma, like, you know, stoic um, personality that's infected, infected. But right away, the first wicket, he was bringing some of that West Caribbean love with that with those celebrations. He was feeling it today. He you were not going to take bro. him down. And I know you'll mention FAF in a little bit, but you could not take him down even if you try. The greatest fielder in the world besides Jadeja couldn't take him down. So absolutely loved it. Loved it all, all together. I did like the opening partnership. They did the best they could. Wasn't enough, but Pollard's got your bet. That's what I liked, Gabe. Nick, I got to say, you know, first and foremost, hats off to Mumbai. This is they got the hearts of champions, man. And listen, it's not fun if, if if you're if the if there's no adversity, right? If you're just handed the championships, there's no fun. And and, and that was a fun match. So hats off, Pollard. You know he's a TKR night rider, so I give him yes. all the love in the world. Um, what did I like on the CSK side? Faf. Can we get an applause for Faf? Right, first player ever in CSK history. Okay, fifty for, uh, uh, runs in four straight matches. 50 in four straight matches, all right? That was huge. It's hard to do. I got to tip my hat to Faf. And, and, and I got to say, you know, to me, he is one of the most stable openers thus far this year, all right? They've played, what, six matches, and he's got five, four 50s? That's pretty steady to me, okay? That's a great opening partnership, all right? I don't think not even Kale Raul has done that this year. So he's been really good at the top. And I think that he's been part of CSK success this year. All right? Also, on the CSK side, what did I like? Moin Ali. Moin Ali showed that the money was well spent. I was wrong. I blame Nick because he got me hating on Moin Ali because of the run out. He still can't run. Almost got ran out again today. I'm telling <laughs> you, I will beat Moin Ali in a foot race. Moin Ali, if you're watching this right now, this fat American Gosh. will challenge you to a foot race. And, and, and I'm telling you, I'll smoke him. I'll smoke him. It's like he runs in slow water, bro. I don't know what to tell you. It's slow motion. I said slow water. It's like he's running underwater in slow motion. <laughs> but Moeen Ali, bro, he needs to start working with the track coach because he almost got ran out again today. But he didn't, he didn't. You know what he did? 58 on 36 balls. Hold that, cousin. Hit and see. I love Moeen Ali, bro. He's been a revelation for CSK this year. Oh, and by the way, one over, one run, and a wicket. One I over, know. one run, and a wicket. The guy gave you a combo meal, baby. By the way, combo meals, when they get you wickets, and give you those big runs, at least, you know, 40, 50. Your boy Pollard had many a combo meals. Because what do you get, like through two, three wickets and hit like a million zig sixes? He had a, a a plethora of combo meals. He was giving oh, them, man. he was handing them out. Oh, my gosh. But no I love shit. the combo meal there by Moeen Ali. And, and I got to tell you, Nick, CSK, even with this loss, I feel good about how they played because it's always somebody different. And it's always a, a different man of the match for them. And I contend no matter in this game whoever bet whoever batted last was gonna win because the dude did come into play at the end guys could not grip that ball we saw some no balls there five no balls by the core five five you know what i'm just gonna get into what i hate it right now three and one over get rid oh my god we can't have angiti and the core those guys bleed <laughs> runs they Gabe, what do we say? What do we say? Which two guys from CSK could we you see get a 50? We said, what two <laughs> guys from CSK might get hootied out here? Because these brown and, and right away, the core. And Giddy. You know what I mean? And Giddy. <laughs> oh, my God. It's bad, Nick. It's bad. Combined. Listen to this. I love it. And Giddy gives up, gives up 62 runs. He is now, by the way, guys, the leader of giving up runs this year. That's not a distinction you want to have. 62 runs. You got pumped, Angiri. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's disgusting. You know what, Moina? I, I mean, with uh, uh, the core gave up, Nick? 56 runs. Oh, but he had those five wides, so that's five extra runs. All right, do the math, okay? That's 61. These guys together gave up 123 runs. Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's teams that in the entire match don't score 123. That's RCB drive-by. That's what RCB does when they play. Hey, like, hey, we got 122 runs. against CSK. We got 122. 122. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you are you kidding me? I, bro, I, I don't know who to hate more, Angiri or the core. Can there's I get an so, Angiri mating call? Is that too so, much to and, ask? Bro, I was at the field, no joke, bro. I'm like Angiri. <laughs> <That's, laughs> 
I tried. Crazy. It was a poor excuse for him to keep him McVeigh call. I couldn't do it. But, bro, if CSK has to do anything, especially on these faster tracks, they've got to do something else, bro. And I know I, I agree with you. Maybe Moin Ali can't bowl in the death, even though quicker spinners like Axel oh, I said, Patel why not can. give him a try? But the guy gave up one run. We knew when Giddy was going to get pumped. These fools here on CFA Nation knew when Giddy was going to get pumped that last over. Get us anything else. Anything. My gosh, it's so bad, Nick. It, it, it was it was a miscalculation by Doni. I, and I get it. You got to have faith in your guys. But these guys aren't getting the job done. As far as the Pacers is concerned, the guy I trust is Deepak Tihar. And Doni likes using him in the beginning. And he did, right? That's what put the clamps down on um, – uh, on Mumbai with 37 runs and four overs on these grounds. That's great. That's great. No wickets, but we need, I mean, maybe we could trade Utapa and go get a, a, a Gabe's like, really? You, you try to take the little bit that Rajasthan Royals have. You're right. I do. I need a pacer. Send me a pacer over here. Gosh, Nick, it's so bad. I hated it. I don't know who to hate more. And Giddy <laughs> or, or the core. One of those guys are dangerously close. If I get one more hootie from them, Nick, Guess what? They're joining you in the Sinister Six. Nicholas, what did you hit? I, I just want to say, um, <laughs> and Giddy joined. He's a he's a top of the most runs given away this season. He's joined the Fampy Club. Have you heard about the Fampy Club I've with the Fampy Cap? So there has been several guys in the history of the IPL that have given up sixty in a, in a game. Unfortunately, Ooh, the cat <laughs> easy. <laughs> Easy. Several guys. And we were wrong. Cottrell never gave up 60. He gave up 52 last year. But there's a man named Basil Thampy, and I'm so sorry if you're related to him or if, you know, if you're watching this. <laughs> gave up 70 game. He gave up 70. <laughs> Did he ever bowl again? Did they find know. the body? Did they find the body, bro? Did they <laughs> witness protection program? <laughs> this guy against against RCB. Back in 2018. So that's the Thampy Club when you get to 60 or more. Because Thampy's like, you guys ain't going to top me. I'm the president forever. Was he a real bowler or was it like Mr. Nags in, in, in disguise out there just SRH. pitching softball practice to us? SRH. To, to, uh, and guess what? SRH RPG. had a top score last year, too, gave away. So I think it was Sidarth Call gave up 64 last year. Jeez. Anyways, what did I hate? I hate the bowling as well. Uh, you're gonna People are going to say this. People are going to say that. They're going to talk about do. For CSK bowling, you know, whatever it is, the bowling was atrocious. And the wickets that we needed were not there. How in the world, how in the world is Pollard so dominant in this match that he was your best bowler as well? Pollard, he, he's going to get in every match at least one over. And we always say he finds those wickets. So he knows what he's doing. He almost missed, he almost missed it. He almost got a catch too. Almost got three of them. But how is he? Did you sign him on your squad for his bowling and then maybe his occasional batting? I don't think so. His economy rate was the lowest, only two overs, but he got himself two wickets. Cole Carney, I thought he joined the 50 club. No, 48. Boomra, 56. 56. Booty! <laughs> I mean, he's got, he's got to get like four bats with the blue soap today. He got the one wicket. He got a catch, but 56. Bolt got an early wicket by uh by Guy Quad in like the first or second over, in the first over, the fifth ball. But... He uh, gave up 42. Everyone got destroyed for the most part. Rahul Shahar, he did one of the best. He did the best as far as the four wicket guy, four over guys, 32. I hated the bowling. There was you're just letting them launch at will. When I saw all the sixes from Moeen Ali and company, Ryud and all of them go off. I said, "There's no way Mumbai is going to chase." And you had to have a near historic performance by Pollard to get it on the last ball. That's what I hated, absolutely. Gabe, what did you learn? You know, I learned that the old adage is true, all right? We hear this all the time. Catches win matches. And drop catches will cost you a match, okay? And you lost by one run. One run. Well, guess what? That wicket, that fop drop, that's the run right there. That's the run right there. Has that's he the ever dropped run. a catch his entire life? I, I, you know what? And it wasn't a sitter, guys. But at the same no, time, he should have he should have had that catch. And I know people are gonna say, "Gabe, he can't get it." I get it. But guys, defense they'll get a matter, especially in these grounds. Isn't this where the championship is? Oh my gosh, no, bro! I'm at a bottom. I'm at a Thank the sure. Lord, bro. Because if it's here, oh, 
Oh gosh. Which makes sense because a Metabot is no one's home stadium. Imagine yeah. if they had it in Delhi and the Delhi um Capitals got to the finals, it would be an unfair advantage. It'd be an unfair advantage. So obviously catches win matches, Nick, and I think that that is um to me uh uh you know, there were drops on both sides by the way. Somebody on uh, um on Oh, it was my guy, Sky. Sky dropped the ball that went for a boundary, right? There was I mean, a few drops on both sides. There yes. are a few drops, and I get it. There's a lot of pressure. But what I really learned is that these teams are very well e evenly matched. And yes. as I said at the beginning of the year, Mumbai's going to be there, guys. They're deep. They got unbel uh, you know, unbelievably un uh, uh, um, screwed by this no home games because playing in Chennai those first five, six games really hurt them. They can't play on there. Now you see these guys hitting their sixes, understanding their lines. The balls aren't gripping, so it's not like they're getting hit with the slower balls. They're able to play. This is more like playing at home for them, right, like playing in Mumbai. But luckily they don't have any more Chennai games. They're going to be there in the end. They got the heart of a champion, and that was what was proven to me today. Uh, Nick, I hope I didn't see any of your luster there, but what did no. you learn, my friend? So I learned it was cemented for me because I never really thought about it. This is the best rivalry in the IPL by a mile, right? And right. it's going to go down, in my opinion, is like maybe the top six rivalries in all of sports that I follow. And I'm going to throw in one, give some love to Akshay because he mentioned Barcelona versus Real Madrid. I don't watch football, uh, soccer, as we know here in America, but I know that's a huge rivalry. I'm talking about Yankees, Red Sox, huge rivalry. I'm talking about in the days of Tom Brady and Peyton Manning, Patriots and Colts, huge rivalry. I'm talking about in basketball, Celtics and Lakers. Celtics Lakers. Yeah. Some of the best rivalries in the entire world. <clears throat> Excuse me. And can, can I say for this season, Padres, Dodgers? But this, when you have those great rivalries in their heyday, and these guys are still in their heydays, Rohit Sharma, MS Dhoni, and everyone else, when you have those great rivalries, you're always going to get a game you cannot walk away from. And unfortunately for Gabe, or fortunately because his son rocked it, he had to go to his son's game. What he he got to go to his son's game and watch him play. He wasn't able to watch it live. He was falling on his phone. Great rivalry. That's what I learned. It delivers every single time. Last year, it started off the season. It was a very, very fun match where CSK won. At the beginning of the season, I think Mumbai uh, matched him in the, in the middle. We'll see what happens. And what I learned is no matter what happens this season, if CSK holds that banner, holds that title, which I think they're going to at this point, then I can still say, hey, Mumbai beat them, so Mumbai's the best. But – Guys, thank you so much for checking this out. We're going to get to our mush picks. But before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out our video about Together for India on the Born Reviews. And as far as our mush picks for tomorrow, because I believe we have two matches tomorrow. Is that correct? Double. I was told, or not told, <coughs> I was threatened that I can only do one mush pick because teams can't take two mushes. If I mush two teams, they'll, they're going to come find me at home, bro. They're coming to Vegas. So I, I don't think that's do that. fair. But I want you to choose a winner for each match, all right? Okay. And if they, if there's any hate mail ready to go, send it my way. But I'm going to go ahead and start because we got to save the best for last. So Royals versus SRH, I think – oh, this is tough, right? Royals have been playing better than SRH. SRH has been struggling. they got a new captain coming in. For that reason, I would love to say that SRH is due. For the reason of the switch, and we saw what happened last year with KKR with the switch, I'm choosing Rajasthan to win. Punjab Kings versus Delhi Capitals. Punjab Kings show RCB who they are. Delhi Capitals has been stout forever. I'm going to be riding the Punjab Kings train. I'm choosing Punjab Kings. And we'll go to your picks for the matches, and then we'll do our mush picks. So, from the matches, I'm taking the Sunrisers, okay? Why? Because they've got Kane Williamson, who I think is going to captain properly, and he's not going to decide the bat just because they haven't done it yet this year. And don't be surprised if Warner gets dropped and he brings in the wicket taker. I'm just saying seven, seven games last year, Jason Holder, 14 wickets. I'll take those numbers. I'll straight up right now. I would swap. I thought you were talking about Khalil Ahmed. Oh, you love yourself, son, Khalil Ahmed. I will swap some Jason Holder for uh, uh, um for for Ngidi. You know what? And I'll send you guys a gift basket. I'll make the trade right now. Right now. <laughs> with that being said, with that being said, I think that King Williamson is going to show uh, that he can be captain. They gave they turned over the reins to him, bro. So I think they win tomorrow. Oh, he's, and he's a polished captain. And the second game, Cap uh, 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 Punjab King versus DC Capital. You know, Punjab is playing well. All right. They just had a big win against RCB. And as much as I like them, I still think DC 
is going to be there at the end of the year. They're the deepest squad, and Pujab still has some flaws. Maybe they win it uh, 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 um, um, and make it two in a row, but against Delhi Capitals in that Metabot, if it was where, if it's different, if it's in De- if the game was in Delhi and we're expecting a high score, that's one thing. But in, in Metabot, really? Really? Yeah, I, I, I doubt that. So I'm going with the Delhi Capitals. I'm going to put super over alert, just say it on that second match. So as far as a a fantasy pick here, a mush pick, if you will. No mush for me, baby. That's two days in a row. (laughs) Sky, baby. Now, I did chose Rohit. He got 35, but he didn't get the 50. So I am the more of the mush today. But I think both of us did all right. But for my choice, one guy from these four squads, man, only one guy. Who do I think is just a lock? Who do I think is going to really do well in this? I am going to go with someone who is more than due, more than due, and that's Josh Butler. Now watch. It's going to come out that he's injured or something like that. I don't know that he is or isn't. I'm going with Josh Butler. Nick, my pick for tomorrow is in the same game. After watching this game, how could it not be, right? You're not my, it's a plethora of runs. <laughs> you know what? I'm going with the new captain, Kane Williamson. I think he's going to play the steady innings, and he's going to uh, be there. Uh, I'm telling you. you. He, 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 he's the captain. Too much responsibility for him to go down on a duck. I think he comes in. I was, I'm was. i not sure if Warner's going to get dropped, drop because if he drops Warner, then again, who's going to be in the opening uh, – uh, 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 opening um, – Who's going to be opening with Johnny Bairstow? I'm tempted to say Bairstow. And those of you who watched the game today and watched Pollard, Bairstow got Pollard power. He doesn't have Pollard discipline, though. Loves throwing away that wicket. But for some, for many of you, but I personally have, I did. I said I would not choose Bairstow this year. I'm a man of my word. I stand on it. So instead of Bairstow, daddy's going with Kane Williamson. You heard it here first. Let's go for three in a row. Can I get three fifties in a row? Ooh, daddy, I'm excited for that. Thank you guys so much. You know, (laughs) that was a little bit of Mercer for Dance. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Go ahead and come back for our live streams when we have them. And don't forget. (laughs) Until next time. That's six runs.